Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Fast Up Isles. Today we are going to continue the second lesson of Isles. If you don't watch first lesson yet, you can find the link of the video in the description box below. Firstly, check out that and then watch this video. The name of the today's lesson is How the band score is calculated for the IELTS test result with the help of band descriptors. We will also discuss about what band score you should have to get for getting the good IELTS test result. So be here with this lesson till the end without skipping any part of the video in order to get complete information about all types of band descriptors for all types of modules. But before that, I want to tell you if you see my lessons continuously and want more lessons like this, please like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel for a little sport and for getting latest updates. So now without wasting any time let's get started with the today's lesson. How the band score is calculated. The band score is calculated with the help of 9 band scale by mixing the band scores of all modules. First of all we will see how the band score is calculated for the listening module. Band score for IELTS listening test is calculated as according to this band descriptor for IELTS listening test. If you want to get good band score in the IELTS listening test, you should have to get at least 6 bands and for getting that 6 band score, you should have to make 23 to 25 questions right out of 40 questions in the IELTS listening test. If you want to get 6.5 band score, you should have to make 26 to 29 questions right and so on like this. How the band score is calculated for the IELTS reading module? As you know, the IELTS academic and IELTS general training reading passages are different from each other. The band score is also calculated for them in a different way. Band score for IELTS academic reading is calculated as here is the band descriptors for IELTS academic reading test. You should have at least 6 band score for getting a good band score in the IELTS academic reading test. And for getting a band 6, you should have to make 23 to 26 questions right out of 40. And for getting 6.5 band score, you should have to make 27 to 29 questions right out of 40. And so on like this. For getting higher band scores in the IELTS academic reading test. Band score for IELTS general training reading is calculated as. Here is the band descriptors for IELTS general training reading test. You should have at least 6 band score for getting good band scores in this module. And for getting band 6, you should have to make 30 to 31 questions right. And if you want to get 6.5 band score, you should have to make 32 to 33 questions right and so on like this for getting higher band scores in this module. How the band score is calculated for the IELTS Academic and General Training Writing Task 1. Here is the band descriptors for IELTS Academic and General Training Writing Task 1. You should have at least 6 band score in this module also. 
for getting a good band score in this module. There are four criteria by which your band score is calculated for this module that are task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy. For getting a band 6 for the task achievement, you should have to address the requirements of the task, academic candidates present an overview with information appropriately selected, and general training candidates should present a purpose that is generally clear there may be inconsistency in tone. Present and adequately highlight key features or bullet points and detail may be irrelevant, inappropriate or inaccurate. For getting a band 6 for coherence and cohesion, you should have to arrange information and ideas coherently and there is a clear overall progression. Use cohesive devices effectively but cohesion within or between sentences can be faulty or mechanical. May not always use referencing clearly or appropriately. For getting a band 6 for lexical resource, you should have to use an adequate range of vocabulary for the task. Attempt to use less common vocabulary but with some inaccuracy. Make some errors in spellings or word formation, but they do not impede communication. For getting a band 6 for grammatical range and accuracy, you should have to use a mix of simple and complex sentence forms. You can make some errors in grammar and punctuation, but they rarely reduce communication. For getting a band 7 for the task achievement, you should have to cover the requirements of the task. Academic candidates should present a clear overview of main trends, differences or stages. General training candidates should present a clear purpose with the tone consistent and appropriate. Clearly present and highlight key features or bullet points but could be more fully extended. You should have to organize information and ideas logically for coherence and cohesion. There is clear overall progression throughout. Use a range of cohesive devices appropriately although there may be some under or over use. For getting a band 7 for lexical resource, you should have to use a sufficient range of vocabulary to allow some flexibility and precision. Use less common lexical items with some awareness of style and collocation. May produce occasional errors in word choice, spelling or word formation. For getting a band 7 in grammatical range and accuracy, you should have to use a variety of complex structures, produce frequent error-free sentences, has good control of grammar and punctuation but may make a few errors. For getting a band 8 for task achievement, you should have to cover all requirements of the task sufficiently, present, highlight and illustrate key features or bullet points clearly and appropriately. And for getting a band 9, you should have to fully satisfy all the requirements of the task, clearly present a fully developed response. For coherence and cohesion for 8 band, you should have to sequence information and ideas logically, manage all aspects of cohesion well, and use paragraphing sufficiently and appropriately. For 9 band, you should have to use cohesion in such a way that it attracts no attention. Skillfully manage paragraphing. For getting a band aid for lexical resource, you should have to use a wide range of vocabulary fluently and flexibility. 
to convey precise meanings skillfully use uncommon lexical items but there may be occasional inaccuracies in word choice or collocation produce rare errors in spelling or word formation you should have to use a wide range of vocabulary with very natural and sophisticated control of lexical features rare minor errors occur only as slips for getting a band nine for lexical resource for getting a band eight for grammatical range and accuracy you should have to use a wide range of structures the majority of sentences should be error free and make only very occasional errors or inappropriacies you should have to use a wide range of structures with full flexibility and accuracy rare minor errors occur only as slips for getting a band 9 for grammatical range and accuracy how the band score is calculated for als writing task 2 here is the band descriptors for als writing task 2 the band score is calculated as according to the task response coherence and cohesion lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy firstly we will talk about task response for getting a band 6 you should have to address all parts of the task although some parts may be more fully covered than others present a relevant position although the conclusion may become unclear or repetitive present relevant main ideas but some may be inadequately developed or unclear for getting a band 7 you should have to address all parts of the task present a clear position throughout the response present extend and support main ideas but there may be a tendency to over generalize or supporting ideas may lack focus for getting a band 8 you should have to sufficiently address all parts of the task present a well developed response to the question with relevant extended and supported ideas <coughs> for getting a band 9 you should have to address fully all parts of the task present a fully developed position in answer to the question with relevant fully extended and well supported ideas for getting a band 6 for coherence and cohesion you should have to arrange information and ideas coherently and there should be clear overall progression use cohesive devices effectively but cohesion within and or between sentences may be faulty or mechanical may not always use referencing clearly or appropriately use paragraphing but not always logically for getting a band 7 you should have to organize information and ideas logically there is clear overall progression throughout use a range of cohesive devices appropriately although there may be some under or over use present a clear central topic within each paragraph you should have to sequence information and ideas logically manage all aspects of cohesion well use paragraphing sufficiently and appropriately for getting a band 8 and for use use cohesion in such a way that it attracts no attention skillfully manage paragraphing for getting a band 9 for coherence and cohesion for getting a band 6 in lexical resource you should have to use an adequate range of vocabulary for the task attempt to use less common vocabulary but with some inaccuracy make some errors in spelling or word formation but they do not impede communication 
for getting a band 7, you should have to use a sufficient range of vocabulary to allow some flexibility and precision. Use less common lexical items with some awareness of style and collocation may produce occasional errors in word choice, spelling or word formation. Use a word for getting a band age for lexical resource, you should have to use a wide range of vocabulary fluently and flexibility to convey precise meanings. Skillfully use uncommon lexical items but there may be occasional inaccuracies in word choice and collocation. Produce rare errors in spelling or word formation. Use a wide range of vocabulary with very natural and sophisticated control of lexical features. Rare minor errors occur only as slips for getting a band 9. If you want to get 6 band score in grammatical range and accuracy, you should have to use a mix of simple and complex sentence forms. Make some errors in grammar and punctuation, but they rarely reduce communication. For getting a band 7, use a variety of complex structures, produce frequent error-free sentences, has good control of grammar and punctuation, but may make a few errors. For getting a band 8, you should have to use a wide range of structures. The majority of sentences should be error-free. Make only very occasional errors or inappropriacies. For getting a band 9, you should have to use a wide range of structures with full flexibility and accuracy. Rare minor errors occur only as slips. For getting a band 9 for grammatical range and accuracy. How the band score is calculated for a speaking test. Here is the band descriptors for a speaking test. Your band score is calculated according to these four criteria for a speaking test that are fluency and coherence lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy, and <coughs> pronunciation. For getting a band 6 in fluency and coherence, you should have to speak at length, though may lose coherence at times due to occasional repetition, self-correction, or hesitation. Use a range of connectives and discourse markers but not always appropriately. For band 7, speak at length without noticeable effort or loss of coherence. <coughs> May demonstrate language related hesitation at times or some repetition or self correction. Use a range of connectives and discourse markers with some flexibility. For band 8, speak fluently with only occasional repetition or self-correction. Hesitation is usually content-related and only rarely to search for language. Develop topics coherently and appropriately. For band 9, speak fluently with only rare repetition or self-correction. Any hesitation is only content related rather than to find words or grammar. Speak coherently with fully appropriate cohesive features, develops topic fully and appropriately. For getting a band 6 for lexical resource, has a wide enough vocabulary to discuss topics at length and make meaning clear in spite of inappropriacies. Generally paraphrase successfully. For band 7, use vocabulary resource flexibly to discuss a variety of topics. Use less common and idiomatic vocabulary with and show some awareness of style and collocation with some inappropriate choices. 
Use paraphrase effectively. For a band-aid, use a wide range of vocabulary, resource, readily and flexibly to convey precise meaning. Use less common and idiomatic vocabulary skillfully with occasional inaccuracies. Use paraphrase effectively as required. For a band 9, use vocabulary with full flexibility and precision in all topics. Use idiomatic language naturally and accurately. For getting a band 6 for grammatical range and accuracy, use a mix of simple and complex structures but with limited flexibility may make frequent mistakes with complex structures though these rarely cause comprehension problems. Use a range of complex structures with some flexibility and frequently produce error-free sentences though some grammatical mistakes persist for getting a band 7. Use a wide range of structures flexibly. Produce a majority of error-free sentences with only very occasional inappropriate or basic or non-systematic errors for getting a band 8. Use a full range of structures naturally and appropriately. Produce Consistently accurate structures apart from slips characteristic of native speaker speech for getting a band 9 for grammatical range and accuracy. For pronunciation for getting a band 6, you should have to use a range of pronunciation features with mixed control shows some effective use of features but this is not sustained. You can generally be understood throughout though mispronunciation of individual words or sound reduces clarity at some times. For getting a band 7, show all the positive features of band 6 and some but not all of the positive features of band 8. For getting a band 8, you should have to use a wide variety. You should have to use a wide range of pronunciation features, sustain flexible use of features with only occasional lapses. Is easy to understand throughout. L1 accent has minimal effect on intelligibility. For getting a band 9 for pronunciation, you should have to use a full range of pronunciation features with precision and subtlety. Sustained flexible use of features throughout is effortless to understand. Now let's suppose, if you get 6 band score in each module, your overall band score would also be 6. But how? Let's take an average of these scores by adding the band scores of all modules and divide them by 4. You will get an average of 6 band score. And if you get 7 band score in 2 modules and 6 in the other 2 modules, you will get an average of 6.5 band score. So, by taking an average with the help of band scores of all modules, we can calculate the overall band score for the ALS and you should have to get 6 band scores in each module in order to make your profile stronger for going abroad. Your overall band score will be calculated as according to the overall band descriptors for the ALS test. If you get 6 band score, you will be a competent user who has an effective command of the language despite some inaccuracies, inappropriate usage and misunderstandings. You can use and understand fairly complex language, particularly in familiar situations. If you get a band 7, you will be a good user 
who has operational command of the language though with occasional inaccuracies inappropriate usage and misunderstandings in some situations you can generally handle complex language well and understand detailed reasoning if you get a band aid you will be a very good user who has fully operational command of the language with only occasional unsystematic inaccuracies and inappropriate usage you may misunderstand some things in unfamiliar situations and you can handle complex and detailed argumentation well if you get a band 9 you will be an expert user of the language the test taker has fully operational command of the language their use of english is appropriate accurate and fluent and show complete understanding of the english language keep in mind these band descriptors while practicing for the ALS test for getting higher band score in the ALS test lastly i want to tell you one thing i have shown you all the positive as well as negative features of band 6 7 8 and 9 you will have to show all the positive features have to work on your negative features and have to improve yourself for getting your desired band score in the ALS test i will give you complete knowledge about how you can improve yourself step by step in my next lessons i hope you like this lesson in the next lesson we will discuss about how you can practice for the ALS listening test from beginning by keeping in mind the band descriptors for ALS listening test if you like this lesson in real give me a little support by like comment share and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching this video check out some more videos to crack the ALS test and have a nice day